It's great news, but it's shocking and overwhelming. For 41 years, Lori Sisterman has wondered what happened to her little brother. Now, for better or worse, she knows. I've been telling people I'm kind of in a fog, you know, like I'm doing my thing and walking and talking, but it's, it's a little surreal. Sisterman says Jimmy Hawkinson ran away from their family's home in St. Paul in 1976 when he was just 16. He called his mother on August 5th of that year to say he was in Chicago, but his family never heard from him again. We got married, we had kids, we just, you know, life went on always wondering what happened to Jimmy. When John Wayne Gacy was arrested two years later for killing 33 boys and young men and burying many of them in the crawl space under his house, Sisterman says her family wondered if Jimmy was one of his victims. Her mother even went to St. Paul police who sent a letter to investigators in Chicago, but without dental records, they couldn't make a positive ID. We're bringing closure to parts of an old case. After Sisterman's nephew, who never met Jimmy, learned Cook County investigators were still trying to identify seven of Gacy's victims, he convinced Sisterman and her brother to submit a DNA sample last March. And on Monday, Cook County investigators came to the Twin Cities to tell them Jimmy was the man known as victim number 24. If you're mad and you run away from home or you're whatever, you don't deserve to be scooped up by a madman and murdered. Now that Sisterman knows where her brother is and what happened to him, she hopes she can finally put this mystery decades in the making to rest. We can say his name and that's where he is and say goodbye. And, and maybe it will be good. It will be... We'll feel good.